Okay, we're on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, we want to say ka hala yahawa wa The double honors of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Yeah. The salutations to the elect pushing his word and choosing sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Yeah. Um, I can get a uh, uh, Job 20 and 21. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> it's the book of Job, chapter 20. Verse 1, and it reads, And answered Zophar the Naamite, and said, Therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, and for this I make haste. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causes me to answer. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of a hypocrite but for a moment? And, and, that's, and that's, that's why, man, when, when we're out here and doing the work and making videos, I'm constantly here. I'll say that this kingdom is coming down soon, man. You know, we all we always constantly saying there is no such thing as a ten-year plan, or even a five-year plan at, uh, at that. This, this kingdom, the society that we live in, that's run by you Edomites, which is you so-called white people, is coming down, man. It's being destroyed. As we speak, every day, the Most High and His angels, the Yahweh Shai, are putting in work, and us, from the vibration of this truth, to, to, take, uh, to bring this white man down. That's why in uh, Revelation, it says, um, Revelation 20 and 5, it talks about uh, he ruled, uh, the dragon rules for a short time. You know, and that's that's this, this right now. This, this really, he's not really, really ruling for like 500 years. Which is a short time in the eye of the Most High. That's only half a day. That's half a day, come on. Yeah, I think a thousand, a thousand years is one day. Yeah. That's that's literally from 12 to 6 p.m. Yeah, come you know? on. And then, you know, he said we'll be taking out the truth. That's why it says that the triumphing of the wicked is but for a moment, man. So Esau's rulership will literally is going down the drain, man. Right? And that's why those of you guys, those of you guys who who, who get weak and 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 and, and, uh, and and lose faith in this uh, lose faith in this thing, in this work, it's because literally it's because you don't have faith. You you believe in your mind that Esau is still gonna keep ruling for a while. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, even Esau says, you know, that their houses shall continue forever, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the mindset. You know, that's their inward thought is, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But it says, knowest Thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, though his excellency mounts up to the heavens, and his head reach to the clouds, yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, that's, that's that pride, man. Their head reaches to the clouds. You know, you so-called white people, you guys, you guys, the Edomites, you get upset when you bring up slavery. It's because you're proud, man. You don't want to acknowledge the wickedness that you did. That's a proud mindset. That's right. That's why you look down at, at, at most, actually look down at all dark nations. Mostly, uh, mostly uh, Jake. You know? That's right. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 4. For though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not fast, they shall be shaken with the wind, and through the forces of the winds, then... Uh, they shall be rooted out. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Right? That's, so, yeah, right, so like, right, you know, right. so the scripture just said, you know, although they look like they're flourishing, they're living in Beverly Hills, you know, they're living it up while the New Negroes, yeah, yeah, you know, there's the kind you know, who got the iPhone 10 or whatever it yeah, is, the X, you know, uh, so, you know, these people are living it up, but the Lord just said that, you know, um, you know, basically, you know, um, they're, uh, you know, like everything that they have, it's going to be shaken like the wind. So it's going to be taking, you know, Esau's going to be taking out a rulership, man. Right? Yep. It says, for though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not fast, they, they shall be shaken with the wind and through the forces of winds, they shall be rooted out. And, and, and when these missiles drop, man, the wind that that's going to create, it's going to take out all of this shit, man. Yeah. People are strictly going to be dead or going to die from the wind of the missiles hitting the floor. When the missiles hit the ground, that 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 that, that gust of hot air that blows up, that that itself will disintegrate, you know, 
the people and, and, and take down these buildings. Well, the things we do are limited to the temple are that, you know, because uh, the missiles, you know, like it actually... When are the missiles coming? What's that? When? Yeah. Very we, know, soon. we don't know exact date, but it's coming very soon. If you look at the news, you know, Russia, America, you know, these different nations. Heck, you North know, Korea's ready yeah. to it, ready. They're like, they're, they already been doing ICBM, um, uh, ICBM missile testing. Test, yeah. And so they're, they're, the, the nations are basically ready to throw missiles at America, at each other. They're just getting ready for that battle right now. Oh. As we're speaking, they're getting ready. Sure. This is, um... Yeah. Yes, I do, actually. Oh. Oh, I know, I know, and you need one, you need one. And you just, I can't, I don't know. It's a lot, yeah. Not one more than you see, bro. So it's just like, ah, yeah. Oh, did you? Well, I mean, you can tell, like, I don't know. Oh, you know, they're, you know, um, basically, uh, eyes. Oh, they will, yeah, I think that's from there, where the eyes will blow away and the sockets kind of thing. Oh, I found it. Got it? Oh, okay, all right. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. Zechariah 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Hey, and it's not just now when it says Jerusalem, yeah, as a whole Israel, but really right now you're you're fighting the Jerusalem that you're fighting against. Jerusalem begins with with Yahweh Shai, then the elect. So really, it's for coming up against us. Too bad, like. Exactly. And then, and then after, you know, when you know, because these other nations, for, they're going to get punished as a whole for taking all of Israel into into slavery. Yeah. You know? Exactly. It says. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. I still see. Like, especially now, I always like, get away. does that? You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. Like, I, like, I, I, swear, I, always, I stay getting on you Christians, you so-called Christians, because you guys... Always talk about the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, and then you come across scriptures like this. Yeah, come on, you ignore it. It's like you, it, and, it, and honestly, most of you do it on purpose because you know that, that, that that's coming to you, right? Yeah. Or they're just gonna say, oh, you know, well, we don't have the understanding, you know, the full understanding of that, you know? Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not supposed to be breaking down the scriptures if you, you don't, don't understand. Know it, yeah, yeah, if you don't know it, yeah. it tells you you have an option. That's like the word option means to like an order, yeah. a command to know it's all. Your job. It's your job, it's literally. Your yeah. job description. Yeah. You can't just start work. All right, be, be there for three months and pass your probation, but like, yeah, I still don't know how to do this. Yeah. Yo, you get so worried, man. You get fired, yeah. That's right. And it says, their flesh shall, con their, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right? Going, man, it's funny. The scriptures always go in detail when it comes to punishment yeah. and death. You know. Yeah. Look, well, we're What's trying. That? We're actually trying to have the whole like LTS uh, and legislation change. Uh, or you have a yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, like, yeah. We've got some, like, I think it's fine. You're gonna like go to something like that. Like, I'm totally like. Come. The book of Job, chapter 15, yeah, verse 34. Yeah, For the congregation uh, of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacle of bribery. Right? That's that's man. Quick, 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 quick testimony. My mom was catching tons of help. Right? Her car broke down, the transmission is broken, the bill is from 35. They said, Esau said he gave us a quota from 35 to 4,800 to fix his transmission. On top of that, you know, she's still uh, uh, paying off, paying like monthly uh, financing bills to the car, and then on top of that, she's you know paying off the loan for the business. The business I think go well, so she's going through a lot of help. You know, so I'm helping her out with money here and there. But man, I, like I'm telling you, our people are wicked as hell. One night, you know, she's she's upset. You know, all this stuff's coming to her. I tell her, listen, 
Why, you've done everything you possibly can in your own Christian way. To, cause she, what she said, she's like, I don't know why you're always doing this. I've never done anything. Because I understand reincarnation, so I'm not even gonna bring that up. You know, I'm not even gonna bring it up. I, I, I serve the Lord. I pay my, yo, she's like, I pay my tithes. I go to church, and in my head, I was furious. I'm like, man. You're, that, that money that you, you saved all of that. And I know she gives a lot of money to, yeah. to tie just because she, you know, she's too zealous. You know? yeah. Yeah. And so in my head, I'm like, yo, you, you tried, I told her that you tried everything you possibly can in your own Christian faith to, to you know, to get this hell off of you. Why don't you try praying the name of the Lord? Don't do it to me with the name of the Lord. I was like, okay, you deserve what's happening to you. Yeah, it just you know, goes to show you that, you know, the Lord is calling on her right now through you, Man, you know, telling shit. her, yo, don't be calling on Jesus Christ. Like, yo, those those people that this is, you know, I'm recently in the news, you know, uh, the lot of people that, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, that got killed in those churches. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, the guy came out with spray. Uh, yeah. Where the hell was Jesus, man? God! Right? Yo, that's even a better example. It's the exact same thing. They were in the church. Is, is that not a congregation? Of who you call Jesus Christ? Why would the Lord let someone come into his house, shoot up 11 people dead? His people, you know? right? His servants. Yeah, you know, his servants kill him, and then that's it. And then it, it, There's it, no justice after that. God, and you know what, man? Like the, like, the Lord does, like, men of the Lord do die for the Lord, yeah. but they don't die, and they, don't, they die with honor. They don't die like dogs, yeah. man. The way, these, the way that guy came up and just sprayed yeah. them up, man. Yeah. That's different. And it's not the first time. Yeah, con. It's right? This is not, not the first, first time, time, you know, this is not the first time that someone came into a church, a church and killed a bunch of people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, again, right, like, you know, just like the brother saying, you know, the Lord, you know, is calling her through you, telling her, don't be calling on that Jesus Christ name, Kun. man. Call on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And it's and crazy. And see what happens. Yeah, this, but, and it's you know crazy, I mean? man. It's crazy because... Like, like, I was, like, the next day, because I was trying to explain to her, I was like, listen, I know you don't agree with it, but I'm telling you, you are, because she understands the yeah. Hebrew, yeah. the fact that she's an Israelite, yeah. but her excuse, you understand your Israelite, right? that's it, man, right? yo, that, that's enough faith to call on the name of the Habash in the Hebrew, but guess what the excuse is, like, yeah. every other church, doesn't he understand all languages, yeah. no shit, man, like, yeah. it, it, it drives me insane, that, that, that people use the excuse. That's just laziness, really, yeah, man. Yeah. To say that, okay, I have the proper tool or I have the proper name to call you, but I'm yeah. not going to call you back. That's disrespectful, too, man. Yeah, you know, that means that you're content. You, literally, you just know? because he's the Lord, yeah. you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna downplay the respect you have for yeah. him and not call him by his name? Exactly. That means that you're content. But the Lord said that in Baruch, seek him ten times more. And the Lord said that, you know, he will return into the pure tongue so that, you know, so that we may... So then we would be able to call, you know, in his real name. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Why would that scripture be in there if it's not important to call the name of the Lord in the Hebrew? So let's say that he's going to return to us in the pure tongue. That, that's crazy, man. And then also, right, when, you know, I'm, a, you know, I'm a, in the book of Acts, the Lord spoke to Paul in the Hebrew. Come, Why didn't come. he speak to Paul, you know, in the, you know, in, in English. The, or in, in Roman language. language. Yeah, yeah, in Roman language. Because, you know, Paul, you know, he had a Roman citizenship. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's why that's why right. didn't why didn't the Lord speak to Paul I pray in the that Roman example language? Too. Why did he specifically speak to him in the Hebrew, man? You know, there's a reason. You gotta go back to the original tongue. That's why the scripture says that, you know, we have to seek the old ways, the exactly, old ways. Exactly. You exactly. know? Because, you know, hear the old ways, uh, walk there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Because people want change. People want difference. People want better in this in this world. Why not start by knowing who you are? Go back to the, you know, go go back to your original tongue, your customs, you know your who you serve. Man. Yeah, know who you're serving, man. You know, people want change, but no one wants to change themselves, man. Con, con, so how con. the hell, you know, is there going to be difference in the world, man? Yeah, con. You know, and it's crazy because. Israel, because the, really the message is only to Israel, because yeah. these heathens can't call in the name of the Lord, man. Yeah. And, and and that example in itself, it, it just it shows you how powerful the name of the Lord really is, man. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Man, there's so many times where you know I was just nearly you know getting into trouble or you know or like you know or like you know I'm getting into an accident, yeah, you know, yeah, and the yeah. and the person that came to mind is to have my senior shot and man. I was delivered, man. Come on, come on, you know, so even many in dreams, you know, bro. So yeah, oh God, bro, I, even in dreams, bro. <laughs> so that's many heavy. times, man. You know, because you know, like you know how uh, you get that, you know, I'm a sleeping uh, a sleep paralysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's the sleep paralysis where you feel like demons are holding you down. Yeah, you know. Come on. 
So many times that happened to me where, you know, I would just be yelling, you have my team on shy, you have my team on shy, you know, for like five minutes, and then, you know, those demons would just leave, man. You know? So many times, you know, calling on that name is powerful, man, but people want to say, people still want to stick to Jesus Christ. You know, when Jesus Christ is not the real name, you know, that you know, that's a great tongue, man. man. That's so desperate. Like I actually I agree with all the hell that comes upon people when they call it Jesus Christ. Yeah. Even man. if even if it's death, man, that's so disrespectful. Yeah. That if you like and, and you know, and Jake's so and like this Jake in this society in, in a whole is so fucked up because in this society if you have, for example, like for example, uh, the Christopher Columbus thing, yeah. where they want to uh, 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 take down the statues and the schools that, that were named after him. Yeah. You, so, so you're telling me that people in society are okay with strip, because no one wants to be labeled with that name because yeah. of who that person it is. Yeah. It's the same thing with Jesus Christ. If you know who this Jesus Christ was and you know, uh, you look up his history, what he did, yeah. All the wickedness he did. Why would you? Why would you put, label that name on, on on a righteous man, the son of the Lord? Yeah, it's the same thing, man. Exactly. And then again, you know, it's a mind thing. That's why the scripture says that we're here to break strongholds. Yeah. When you yeah. say Jesus Christ, yeah. you're thinking of, of that devil, man. Yeah, that's right. And when you say you have a shine Shai, you fear and you have respect towards yeah, that, man. Absolutely. Because they're two different people. Yeah. That's why the scripture says that you know. Um, you know, they're, they're going to come to a time where they're going to teach another Jesus. Come on, come on. You know, Jesus Christ is that another Jesus because yeah. Yahawashah is the original, man. That's right. That's right. You know, right. Yahawashah is the original and then Jesus Christ came up, man. That's right. You know? Good, are you? And, and it says, Though His Excellency mount up to the heavens yeah. and His head reach unto the clouds, yet shall He perish like, yet shall He perish forever like His own dung. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he?" That's right, man. No? That's, the, the rules of this of this society, like the uh, um, Illuminati and these different the occults that are the higher uh, that the, at the you know upper echelons of society, they're gonna come down too, because those guys are are uh, the, what would you say the, the physical counterpart of Satan. Because you have a protagonist, this is like a big movie, you have a protagonist and an antagonist. You have the people of the Lord and you have the people of Satan. It's that simple. The people of the Lord being Israel are the physical counterparts of the Lord and his son. The, 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 the Edomites, are, which are, are known as so-called white people, are, uh, are the physical counterpart of Satan. So a, that's why that's why that's why Jake that's why these people, uh, Negroes, uh, Latinos, North American Indians, they they no matter how hard we try, they can never get along with uh, with uh, with so-called white people and with each other too, because you go back to the curses. Because in a lot of these churches, everybody talks about Jews, 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 but no one talks about Benjamin, Levi. Zebulon, all the other tribes. That's right. And also, this, okay. no, sorry, Jews. The Jews are not the whole <laughs> tribe of Israel. So if if if, if those guys in, um, in 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 Israel right now are the are the real Jews, all right. If they're the real Jews, well, where's Benjamin? Who's Benjamin? Who's Simeon? Well, also the scripture says that when the real Jews return back to their own land. There's going to be no more war anymore. That goes to yeah, show you yeah, that the yeah. people that are in Israel today, you know, those people stole the heritage of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native American Indians. These are the 12 types of children of Israel that are here, man. When people say Jews, they, you know, they automatically think of the so-called white people living it up, man. The scripture says that the real Jews are, are in poverty, they're yeah. mourning, they're yeah. living in the ghettos. And these you know, Jewish people of today are the richest people on the planet. That's right, man. You know, you know the scripture yeah, says, yeah. You know, most of them are, yeah. That's right, you know, the scripture says that, you know, the real Jews, they need deliverance, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, those people out there are living it up, man. They they rule the world. What do they need to be saved from? Exactly. You know, the people exactly. that, you know, the so-called Native American Indians or the so-called Negroes and so on and on, these people are the ones that are in the ghettos, in the reserves, you know, they barely have food to eat. That's who the Lord, who you call Jesus Christ, has come back to, to save, man. Because this, you know, these are his people, man. That's right. You know? But people don't actually do research and actually read the scriptures, you know, and actually go to go back into the Hebrew and the Greek and the Latin to get the full understanding of what's actually saying, man. Because you know, yeah. because people think that Jesus Christ is so called white man. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's why we don't call upon that name. That's why we disagree with the with the because um, I'm pretty sure if I may ask you a question, you you you're a Christian, you go to church? Um, you guys, you you would call him the name of Jesus Christ. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Now, do you agree that that's the proper name of the Son of the Lord? Oh, come on. 
is, uh, what is it? Uh, you no. want to say Yeshua? Yeshua. Now, Yeshua is, is incorrect, reason being, because in the Hebrew, you don't have, you don't have uh, J, E, or U in there. Yeshua is spelled with a U. So that wouldn't be the correct name of the Son of the Lord. The correct name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Exactly. But, but in the churches, the pastors, they teach the call of Jesus Christ. Which is a different name. Which is a completely different name. Now, Jesus Christ, that goes, when you say Jesus Christ, tell me, do you get this image in your head when you, see, when you say Jesus Christ? This doesn't come to your mind, right? When, I don't get a color. You, you, but but you have to but you but you have to you have to you have to get it you have to know an image you have to know what he looks like. He's beautiful. I but don't you, know, I've never seen him. Okay, but okay, so that's, fair, that's fair. That's fair. But the, how, but the Bible. Know, the, how, yeah, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, no, go ahead. How do you know that he's beautiful when you've never seen him? He's beautiful, man. But how do you know but that? But you you just know it's about faith, right? True, right? True. But you know he you know he came in the flesh, yes or no? Yeah, he did. Okay, so what complexion did he have? Because uh, I couldn't die, I wasn't there. Okay. Well, this well, what does it tell you? I, I this imagine this he'd be a darker you. skin, right? Yeah. Black. Because where he was like, from, right? No, yeah, well, yeah, that, know, that, that, that kind of where but, he was from, right? But just, well, well no, because I don't think he's necessarily white. Like, yeah, I don't no, no, think technically, it, it really doesn't matter where you're from because we're yeah. all made from the ground. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, the, and the ground has different shades of brown. Yeah, because you know what? You got people in Europe that are darker than us. Cut. And so actually, so it doesn't matter where you're from. Yeah. It's about your nationality. Well, no, but the way you, right? Yeah, but where he was from, you gotta you gotta look at the Arabia kind of thing, right? Yeah, but no, really, no, no, really, no, no. really, he well, was not an Arab. You know, he did not know like the Arab. Say, he was saying like the Middle East, yeah, all the Middle East kind of Yeah, right? technically, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Sun. I know he wasn't white, right? Yeah, but that's you know? that. But you get this image, though. You're telling me this is not this is the image that comes to most people's mind when they say Jesus Christ. Now the pastors. Why I don't understand is people who go to church. How long you been going to church for? Oh, I've been going about two two thousand seven to get my ID. Okay, so let's okay, so seven years ago, right? Or no, ten years ago. Okay, so ten years you've been going to church. You gave your life to Jesus, and you don't know what he looks like, and you don't well, know his proper name. Tell me. Get revelation. Me. We'll, we'll read have you seen him? Have you seen him? Yeah, we Techn have. Yeah, we yeah. technically we have, but that's that's a, that's another conversation for another day. But you know, the scriptures tell you exactly what he looks like. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the word revelation means to reveal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is to reveal what he looks like. I'm just going to get down to the point. That's right. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, okay. one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, okay. and girt about the path with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Okay, so his head and his hair were white like wool. White, the color, yeah. wool is a texture. Okay. Yeah. We have woolly hair. Yeah. He has woolly yeah. hair. This it's guy not has... white. No, no, that's no, no. a... That's, yeah, no, that's <laughs> no, not no. white. But well, that's... You're, you're, see, now you're bringing race into stuff, right? No, 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 no I think you guys on. are losing your no, own thing. No, no, let us break it down. You'll see okay. what we're talking about. Okay. Because this guy has blonde brown hair. And that's not the image. That's not the image. That's wrong. This is what's portrayed to be the son of the Lord. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, right. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay. Okay. And his feet like unto fine brass. Okay, fine brass, like a reddish light okay. brown. Okay. And his feet like was and his feet like unto fine brass uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. So even darker. So logic would tell you, well, this guy was dark, he was black. Okay, now this that's already three strikes. This is not proper to that image. So you've been going to church for ten years, and your pastor hasn't revealed to you what he looks like. There's something. Don't you think there's something wrong with that? No. You don't think there's nothing it, wrong with the one pastor in the church I went to for a couple years was. You went to Harvest City, didn't you? Went to Harvest City for yeah. that, then I went yeah. to the Yumba Church. Yeah, Pastor yeah. David Yumba, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And so. and throughout those two, throughout your time period of going to both churches, you weren't. We never told. got into that. Why not? Why not? I couldn't tell you why. But don't you think there's something wrong with that? No. You don't think there's nothing wrong without knowing who you serve? I know who I serve. But okay. you don't know his name. Jesus, buddy. That's okay, well then you know. Okay, so what do you guys use? What is that? We, What's we that? told you, you Howard Shai. Yeah. Well, 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 that's the proper name, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, you know, no, also, okay. I got another question. If you don't care about what he looks like, when he comes back, how do you know that's going to be him? Oh, because. Gonna, it's faith, right? Well, yeah, it's true. But people. 
you know. How are you gonna know? You're no, gonna no, follow. No. How do you know? Because you, know, right? you see, you're known by his fruit, right? We're all known by his fruit. Okay, okay, yeah. good, 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 good know, point. Good right? point. We're all known by his fruit. Yeah. Now, being being a follower of Jesus Christ of the Lord, being a servant of Him, are you not supposed to do your due diligence and your homework to study His word? That's why I'm here right now. Okay, good, good. Right? So that's what we're saying. So when He comes, yes, it is faith. That yeah. tells you, faith is beyond everything. It's the core of everything. Yeah. But faith without works. So are you guys going to be looking for a black man with woolly hair? Damn right. Oh, why wouldn't we? Yeah, that's because, what they said he looks like. Yeah. And the scripture says that he right? that's his logic. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I, I don't know what he's going to look like. I don't know. We just read it to you. Yeah. you think we just read like? it. So, so, you, okay. so okay. You, you don't think, you think that's wrong? It, it doesn't matter to him. Well, no, hold on, yeah, hold on. What's that context, though? What when he mean? comes back, is he coming? Is that when he's coming on? Like he's going to be walking down the street? No. You're going to see him, or no. is that when he comes no. back? No, this is he's coming back with the chairs. With, with this the is chairs. At the, yeah. It's okay. At the well, end then, of the end. then you're going to know. In sure, verse right? seven, you're going to know. If you're in verse seven, you're going to know. What? If, if you're if, down, if, if yeah, if you're if true, if you're a true Christian. A lot of people call themselves Christian and know nothing of His Word. How can you call yourself to be a Christian and know nothing of the Word of the man you serve? I know lots about the Word. Okay, well, that's, I'm just saying so, an example, not yeah. directly to you. But, but this exactly. is good you brought this up because now I'll study it. Exactly, and the there name, you go. And the name too, yeah. Exactly, but that's 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 our problem is that the pastors don't already, how, how can you, I can, there's no way, I've only been, we've only been studying what we know for only about four years. Mm -hmm. Right, by our elders and teachers. Okay. You've been in church with your pastors from two different churches. I know both the pastor, Pastor Wells and Pastor yeah. David. Yeah. Now, both of them, you've been in there between two times for ten years, and don't, and they haven't taught you this yet. There's something wrong with that because when you, when you first give your life up to the Lord, the very first thing you should know because get uh, Acts um, Acts two, and I think it's around the thirteenth verse. This, uh, this name, no one should be saved by other by this name. Oh, oh, that's in the book of uh, the book of. Uh, the book. Oh, 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 no, that's no, Acts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that because the reason why we're we're so we emphasize on the name because the name is important. Yeah. It's extremely important. I guess it would be, right? Yeah, of right. course, You're right? right. Yeah, of course, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because just like a, an example, uh, your name is Kevin. Kevin. So if I call you Bob, are you going to turn around and look at me? Obviously okay. not. No. So now I get that the Lord can understand all languages, but just because it's the Lord doesn't mean you should downplay your respect for his name. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. So that's why we emphasize the name. But a lot of people like to say, oh, well, he understands if I call him, he knows my heart. Okay, okay, but that's just an excuse for laziness of not doing your studies. That's all it is. Now, it's, it's okay to be sincere in it, but once you're told that, you should be able, you should be pushing on. Because the scriptures also tell you, um, uh, roughly paraphrasing, when you come to serve the Lord, seek him ten times stronger. Ten to, that's, that's extremely. Like, you, you have to be diligent. Every little thing, you have to be, uh, part of my friends, but you have to be anal about every little thing. Yeah. Because you need, this is this is based off your salvation of your soul and your loved ones. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you be extremely diligent in every little pinpoint? You know? It's everything matters, right? Everything matters. I, I'm not sure exactly where the uh, is. It's so here, let me, it's Acts 2 and... Uh, I mean, yeah, but I got another one here okay, in the okay. book of Zechariah. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 9. It says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, in that day shall there be one Lord and His name one. Exactly, because that's that's a beautiful scripture. Because uh, people also believe in the church that He has ninety nine names. Now, there's a difference between names and titles. Title, it's, it's, titles explain the action of the person. Like for instance, they uh, they used to call the Lord Allah Shakia, which means a terrible demon like power. Because at times, that's in the Hebrew. Because at times. He can be, his wrath can seem like, holy crap, that's serious. Like, for instance, his title would be a basketball player, but yeah. he has a name. Or, or you know, here's another one. Who's the president of the United States? Right, there you go. Right? Exactly. Right. Well, president right. is the title. Right. Trump is his name. Right, you would say Donald Trump. Yeah. But what's his name? Donald Trump, right? Exactly. You know, just like you have the doctors, but then that doctor has a name. That's so, right. you know, people can say God, but God is a title. God is not a name. It just what is power. his name? Right? right? If you read the book of Proverbs chapter 30 verse 4, it says, What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Yep. Right? Yep. So you gotta be able to dig into that name because that's salvation right there, man. Once you know that name, you know, it's not just knowing that name, but you know, that name, you know, it's a big part of your salvation. Absolutely. Right? So, Absolutely. so you know, the, you know, uh, I got another scripture right here. After that, uh, real, real quick at the 21, yeah. Acts 2 and 21. Oh, 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 okay, it goes into what you just said about salvation. Uh, yeah, Acts 2 verse 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass 
that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall right. be saved. Now, that in itself should tell you, okay, well then I need to get the right name. So if I call him the wrong name, I'm obviously not going to be saved. It, or, it's not, it's not going to lead me to salvation. Right? That's why you need to be taught these things. So what is El Shaddai? What is that? What's El Shaddai, uh, El Shaddai, uh, I, I forgot, uh, El Shaddai, El Shaddai. Uh, it's, uh, I forgot, it's, it's, it's oh, just another right. title. I forgot what it means, but it's not the proper name. It's just yeah. another title. Like, for instance, uh, what do you call him? Yahweh? No, well, Yahweh, Yahweh is spelled with an E. There's no J, E, or U in the Hebrew. In the original Hebrew. Right? The Paleo Hebrew. Because remember, when Paul was on the horse, and, and Jesus knocked him off the horse, he spoke, that whole conversation they had was in Hebrew. And Paul was a Roman citizen. So you gotta take in. Well, why? Why would the Lord do that? Because that is His main language. That is His. That is the language He 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 uh, uh, He speaks in. Although He can speak in all languages, yeah, He's the Lord. But He chooses. That's His language that He deals with. Yeah. And the name is Yahweh Shai. People call it Jesus Christ. The name is Yahweh Shai, which means uh, He's the Savior or He's a Deliverer. And then the Father's name, uh, whoever calls God, is Yahweh, which means He is. He is what he is. Because remember when Moses asked, who are you? What's your name? It's I am that I am. Yeah. That would be yeah. Yahweh. In the Hebrew. In the Hebrew. If you go back to the original, if you go into the Hebrew, you can't read this book in just English. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You can't yeah. Yeah. understand it. Yeah. I got a scripture here. Little book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call on the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Now, which is be the, the, the beautiful thing about that is yeah. uh, the word Hebrew comes back from the word, uh, goes back to the word Ibar, which I forgot, what does that mean again? Ibar I means of the past. Of the past. Yeah. Because that's from the, the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. So that would be, because for instance, like the word etymology, you know what the word means, right? Okay. Etymology, etymology just means the root, the root, the, it means the study of truth, the root of something. So for instance, the truth of that word. Exactly. So the etymology of the apple would be its seed. It's beginning. Okay. So, so if the Lord, so the etymology of, uh, yeah. I mean, the the etymology yeah. language for the Lord would be Hebrew, from the past. That's His original language. That's why it's good to know the Hebrew. Yeah, and that's why it says, "For then will I will I turn yeah. to the people a pure language." That pure language is Lashon Kodesh, yeah. which means you know the holy tongue. The, you know the pure language, which is the Hebrew. You know when uh, you know the Lord was here. You know two like you know like you know about two thousand years ago. What language were they speaking? He's a Hebrew Israelite, isn't he? Right. Right. He's a Hebrew Israelite. Therefore, he has uh, you know a Hebrew name. You know when he was born, they gave him a Hebrew name and they called him Yahawashai. You know so that you know that itself is very important, man. You know. And we're, you know, like, you know, I'm a, we say that's, you know, I'm a very important because, you know, that's the name of the Lord. Everything in the scripture matters. Yeah. And literally, every single thing that people don't think, oh, you know what, like, does it matter? Everything matters, man. And you know? now, on that point, real quick, yeah. uh, before we let you go, yeah. um, you're talking about race. Now, we're bringing race. Now, color, color is, is, is important, but, but it's, uh, it's not important, it's not extremely important. It has an, uh, a certain level of importance in the scriptures. Now, color is an indicator, because if you want to get Jeremiah 14, too, for yeah. me real quick. Yeah. Because if Jesus is a Jew, he came out of the Jews, well, it tells you what the Jews look like. It this tells you that they were black onto the ground, yeah, which fits what we read in Revelations. You see, you see how you connect the dots? Yeah, they turned white because they're sinners? Or no, 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 they no, didn't no. turn white. They didn't turn white. Those people took our nationality exactly. and called themselves... Us. That's why in the book of uh, Revelation 2 and 9, yes. it says that, you know, the real Jews, you know, are in poverty, you know, but then, you know, there's people, you know, who call themselves Jews, but are not. Yeah. You so know, the, I'm going to read it yeah, here. Read it after this. Here, here actually. But so you guys, you guys are Jews. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. But now, you know? now. But again, you know, yeah. it, it goes deeper. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I was just going to say now, on, on the surface, you understand color, you see people color, but you got Jews who look like so-called white people. Because of mixing and mingling, right? So the, the Rothschilds, what would they be? They're Rothschilds, Edomites. they're Edomites. No, they're, they're Edomites. not. They're Edomites. Which that word Rothschild, because when you read, okay, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. my mind can't go over, but. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to figure yeah. this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's interesting. Absolutely. Because I was shocked to see that there was Somalian Jews, right? And when I saw that, I was like, which what are that? Yeah, which so those, where did all these people come they from? They right? come from, uh, those are Philosophers. Now that's another thing. Yeah. But read yeah. the scripture real quick. Exactly. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 14 verse 2, 
It says Judah mourneth. Okay. That right there, you know, so, no, no, go ahead, break it down. You know, break it down. That right there tells us that the Jews are mourning. You know, they're in poverty. Yeah. The people that are, in, you know, the people that are in the land of Israel today are not mourning. Okay. It says Judah mourneth, and the gates there of language, they are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Now that word black right there in the Hebrew is, you know, is uh, you know, I'm uh, is uh, you know, you know, I'm uh, is uh, you know, I'm a Kodar, you know, Kodar, which means dark skinned, right? It says they are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And you know what these 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 Jewish people do? To fit that scripture, they dress in all black. They're Jewish. Jewish. That's another thing. The word Jewish in itself. Okay, words. Words are powerful. You gotta. It's always. It's always important to look into your words and see what they mean and stuff. Because the word, the suffix behind Jew, uh, the ish, ish, means pertaining to ish. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, your shoes are brownish, but they're not really brown. Those are Jewish, but not really Jews. Oh, I see. You yeah. see? And they do that. They'll. They'll like. You know about the Rothschilds and yeah. whatnot. They. They will put things in plain sight. But you, you want you, it, it takes understand like it takes study of your of, of, of words and they play a lot on words. Yeah. Yeah. Play a lot on words. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I got a scripture. Yeah. This is the book of Je uh, Revelation two verse nine. It says, "I know thy works mm -hmm. and tribulation and poverty." Again, not in poverty, right? But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. That's it. But are the synagogue of Satan. Now that should tell you, okay, already. Now that means that there are two people on this planet, two nations. One is calling them Jews, and one's are calling themselves Jews, they're not the real Jews. And others are not calling themselves Jews, but they are the real Jews. That's what it should tell you. There's a battle between the two. Mm -hmm. Now when it says they're a synagogue of Satan, I don't know how much research you got on the Illuminati, but there's been a lot of Jewish rabbis who, like that one we used to see, yeah. they were talking about, like on, on on Halloween, there's about in, in the states about 328 kids go missing yeah. every year. Yeah. Every year, and now these kids, they and this is a Jewish rabbi. This is what he's saying. And he says, and you can look it up on YouTube. Don't take my word for it. He said, what we do is we, we these kids, their their blood, they their blood yeah. is used. You've yeah. heard of that? Are used to yeah. that's that's insane. And then they're, they're, the the cartridges, the the flesh. It's put into the McDonald's yeah, yeah. and he's burgers. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah. the guy's like, and then the interviewer, you can hear him. He's like, yeah. like what the heck? And yeah. then and he kind of saw, he kind of thinks he's kind of joking. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to throw off the conversation. Yeah. The guy's like, we tell you this all, we'll right. tell you, but you yeah. guys don't listen. And it's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of the conditioning. It's like yeah. it's like what they do is they test out their conditioning, yeah. Yeah. and then by testing it, they put the the, the truth right in plain sight yeah. to see if anyone will listen. And no one listens. Yeah. That's how they know they're doing a good job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. That, that's, 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 that's an example so of that scripture. Guys, this is about Satan, you know? Yeah, this is, like this a, is, we, this is our church. Like you this, don't yeah. go to a church? No. No, no. no. Not under a pastor? No. No, we're, we're, we're not under a pastor, but we're, we're under elders. Uh, and, and, a, and, and, you know, elders uh, who have taught us. Yeah. Okay, cool. Who's yeah. that? Uh, okay. they, they're, they're, they, they, they reside in North America. Uh, not North America. Well, in North America. But they reside in uh, New York. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have different camps. We call it a camp, right? Yeah, church camp. Yeah. We have different camps all over the world. There's some in Jamaica. There's some in. Uh, there's actually some in Toronto, Winnipeg. That's yeah. right. You know. Yeah. 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 And and you know, like like if you read in the book of Matthew, the Lord the Lord told us to go out there in the house in the valleys, you know, and to push this word. So you know, our job, you know, the prophets, you know, like if you read, you know, in the scriptures, the prophets were out there in the streets. Telling the people what's about to happen, you know, yeah. wake up, man, the Lord's coming back, get right, you know, yeah. that's our job, you know, is to come out here, you know, and to speak, you know, and to tell the people that the Lord is coming back, man, yeah. you know, so, you know, the Lord told us, you know, it's, it is our duty to come out here, whether it's, you know, minus Cold 50, you know, or super hot, you, yeah. yeah. you know, and that tries your faith, that's right, you know, that's why the scripture says, you know, preach the word, be ye, you know, I'm an instant in season and out of season, that's right. you know, so, right. you know, that is, our job. <laughs> you know, it's to come out here, yeah. you know, and to do this work, man, yeah, right, yeah, this, yeah, there's a lot, but yeah, this, it's, that's, that's why, you know, we, because I've, because we've had sit downs with Pastor David, he came to my house and yeah. we were discussing the scriptures because yeah. we disagree with some of the stuff he, he preaches, okay. you know. And what did he say? And he, no, he disagreed. Like, he, you know, we didn't come to an agreement. Um, we talked about, like, what we talked about, the name of the Lord, yeah. his image, and his, answer, his answers were like, this, this, this stuff is, you're focusing too much on this and not on your faith. Well, this is a part of my faith. Yeah. Faith without works well, see, is not See, that's what dead. I was thinking at the beginning too, right? But you do have a point on knowing. 
Absolutely, yeah. Right? It's, and, it's, and whatever, if he's, like, you know, if he's... Looks like that. He looks like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not extremely important. Yeah, it's not extremely important. And I've important. always and really, I've always wondered how can Somalians be Jews, right? Yeah, when exactly. I'm seeing this, I'm going, yeah. where's this coming from? Yeah, yeah. when is this up? Yeah. And all these darker people, right? Like, yeah. You know, and then, you know, yeah, it's exactly. like, what the heck's going on Yeah, here, right? exactly. You know, but and then you look at the Jews that are there, walking around and doing their praying, they don't even believe in Jesus. No, right? they and don't. So it does not make weird. sense. Yeah, it's, 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 it's weird. weird. It's you're right. Weird. You're yeah. right, like, man. You're supposed to be God's people, and you're the, yeah. you're the gay capital of the world. Yo, See, I, I, there I'm you happy go. you said okay, that. See, there that's, you that's, go. Pink City. right there. And I got little boys that I'm raising up in the way, right? See? They want to be evangelists, and they're freaked right out. Yeah, exactly. What's going on here? Yeah, you know, and the Lord basically said that when the real Jews return back to their own land, we're going to be keeping the laws of the Lord. You know, and yeah. you know, yeah. right? You know, and you know, it's um, not supposed to be any war. Any it's supposed war, to be you know, a homosexuality. Peace in the Jews it's not back. supposed yeah. to be there. It's not yeah. supposed to be there. We're going to show you the contradiction of what the Scripture says and what those people, you know, how do. How they're living. Yeah. You know how they're yeah, living. Sure. That right. in itself, right there, should just prove to you that you know what. There's something wrong with yeah, that, yeah. man. You know, and then again, right, you know, like when we're talking about the name and so on and on, the scripture says that we have an unction to know all things. That's right. You know, so, you know, it's our job, you know, that we have to know all of these things. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Right now, man. Yeah, yeah. You guys. yeah, you could be an Israel. I believe you're an Israel through the Spirit. Because that's another thing, man, because people, like, people don't understand salvation really only is for Israel. Yeah. It only is for Israel. And that's another, that, 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 that touches people's emotions. Yeah. Because they, can they, because after what we, after we talk to them, they see, well, so you're saying these people, the Negroes, well, I'm not one of these people, so I'm not going to get saved, yeah, and I've been serving the Lord. It's all about your spirit. It's deeper than yeah, that. It's yeah, all about it's your spirit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why, you know, you could be, you could be a, you could be a Negro for all you know, and you wouldn't, and you, and you, you wouldn't know. know. Because, of, you know, like how many years ago of mixing and mingling? Generations. Yeah. Generation of generation. That's why okay. in this time, is that's why in Romans 8 and 16 it says, uh, our spirit bears witness with your spirit that you're the children of Israel, the children of the Most High. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, yeah, so, I believe you're an Israelite because, you know, it, it, I, can, I can just feel it through your spirit. So, man, honestly, remember to pray those things because when all hell breaks, it's going to happen soon. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's what's going to be powerful, not Jesus Christ. Well, you know, it's really neat. I was laying on my couch today and I was listening to a sermon and Jesus goes, I got somebody for you to meet downtown. Yeah. So I got off my yeah, couch and there I came and I'm walking around in there, walking there, and I thought, I'm going to come by here, and then the Holy Spirit just like, no, that's yeah. a, honestly, that's the yeah. spirit, man, that's the spirit, all, all right, right, man, you take care of yourself, eh, yeah, God bless, you guys yeah. too, I'm going to do my homework, yeah, yeah. do it, man, yeah. take it yeah. easy, all right, yeah. Yeah. Hebrew yeah. Israelites, yeah, yeah, if you want, there's like, there's more of us, you want to learn more on YouTube, you just click uh, GMS, the Great Millstone, Great Millstone, like in the Bible, yeah, Israelites, and you'll see videos and all these people who teach the same thing and more. All right, man. Take care. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yo, it's crazy. Yes, that's how you know he has understanding yeah. because like, he was bringing all the samples of the yeah. pig city and stuff. Yeah. He's trying to raise children. They're all freaked out. Yeah. See, yo, you know, and the one thing, you know, about this truth is that sometimes, you know what, like, it's going to hit you hard, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and then, <laughs> yo, I was fucking cheese, bro. It's like, yo, you don't know the Lord, man. Fuck you. But, you know what I mean? He doesn't care. Yeah, man. Care. But, you know, being patient and working with him, you yeah. never know. Because at the end of the day, yeah. the two things are going to happen. He's either not going to agree, and that's yeah. his ass. And then he's going to leave. Yeah, he's going to get judged, and it's edification for yeah. the camera. Yeah, man. Hey, because, you know, like, even, you know, like, we're... When we came into this truth, yo, you know, it was, you know, basically given to us hard, man. Oh. And then, you know what, we just had to take it in, like, yo, this is the truth, man. Yeah, yo, it. fuck my feelings, yeah, man. Yeah, that's what makes you a man. Yeah, that's man. That's why I said, gird thy loins up like, like a, a man. man. That's right, man. You know, and then after, you know, this week will come, yep. and then, you know, the tribulation again, man. Cut. So, you know, you're on and off, man. That's right. Right? But that Job, go back yeah. to the book of Job. Shut up, man. Job 20, verse 6. Though His Excellency mounts up to the heaven and His head reach to the cloud. So he says, proud, man. Right? Yet shall He perish like His own dung. They which see Him shall say, where is He? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. So that's beautiful because this whole thing is supposed to be like a dream. And when, you, when we get into the kingdom... Which is gonna be here on earth and how it comes we got changed the body. We're gonna be like, man, Edomites themselves, that color, Edomites himself is gonna be uh it's gonna be like a dream because 
once uh, once once we once a thousand years of slavery happens uh, of, with uh, with Israel uh, with Israel or uh, with the Edomites and the other nations being in slavery under us, we're gonna burn them up, and there's gonna be no more so-called white people, man. Yeah. None. This is, they're gonna because Esau used to be dark skinned back going back to Canaan. Yeah. The spirit won't be, used to be dark skin, so there's gonna be no more Edomites on the planet. Yeah, because Edomites just being on the planet is a curse in itself, man. Absolutely. And there will be no more of that, because realistically, everything has a melanin, even the animals. There's no yeah. animal, there's no animal out there who does not have melanin, man. Yeah, yeah, that's you know? percentage of melanin. Yeah. So everything has it except Esau, man. Except Edom, which goes to show you, the Lord really hates Esau, man. Yeah. It's like it says, Jacob, for Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God, you know. God. And it makes sense to me, Esau like that, man. Yeah. You look at you look at the characteristics of these Edomites, the proud, the pride, the things they, the way they judge, their laws, all everything they do is is, is, is their, this society is a product of their, it's a manifestation, a product of their spirit. Yeah. And they're so good at hiding it, which goes to show you, man. Like I said, you know, um, you know, like I heard this in the war or whatever. It said, you know, the greatest trick that the devil has pulled is to deceive everyone and show everyone that he's not a devil. Yeah, man. Can't. you know, it's a, yeah, it's a trick people believe that he's not that, that, yeah. that he doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah that right? is the greatest trick. That's it's true. Crazy. You can do anything without any interruptions. When yeah. No one knows you're around. Yeah, because right now, if you see a so-called white man who's that, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, a white man who who is a pedophile and you talk shit to him, this guy is gonna act like as if you know people yeah. just you know I'm gonna kill him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is gonna come to his defense, man. That's why, man. If it wasn't for Great Millstone with the apostles and the elders, none, none, no one would really know about Rothschild. Yeah. No one really knows about the Rothschild and the banking families because even 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 the banking families, the people that know about them, they're on a high level. level they're yeah. within the congregation or the, the, the cult that they're in. Yeah. You know, but outside people like these low level people out here just living their everyday lives, yeah. you only know it through GMS, through yeah. the apostles, man, and on down. Yeah, you know, and then also like, you know, even you know, if you knew about them, you know, before, you know, uh, you know, the man of the Lord out there preaching the word, yeah. you know, it was kind of like, you know, um, you know, like even when you search online, you yeah, know yeah. you were scared, yeah, you know, even taboo. say yeah, yeah, it was yeah. taboo. You were you were even scared to say Illuminati. Yeah, but yeah. now, you know, you just come to, you know, like you know, I'm uh, like, you know, now like you know you just know the knowledge of how wicked these people are and yeah. that, you know, and that they ain't shit, man. Yeah, cool. Like that you guy, know? the guy who just came up here, yeah. when I said he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was just like, that. yeah, when we were explaining the story about the, yeah. the, 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 that, um, that Jewish rabbi, he's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. he's heard yeah. the story. Yeah. So yeah, he knows the, the, the truth is out, man, like, and, and, and you, and you Edomites, especially you, 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 uh, banking families, you guys, you guys are made naked now. Yeah. You can't yeah, hide any of your wickedness. But naked, yeah. Yeah, and even... And that's why you're looking to get rid of us, man. And I said, I said this to you a couple of weeks ago, but yeah. all these terrorist attacks and shootings, <laughs> they're going to come back. They're going to come back to us. Yeah. I know you guys are going to lead it to us, yeah. connect it to us, because one of these guys, you're going to pay them to say that I was in GMS or yeah. I was a part of this camp. Yeah. They taught me to do yeah. this. Yeah. They do that shit, man. These guys, they don't do anything, man. Yeah, you know, just like how. Uh, Which you're just following <laughs> prophecy when you do that. You're yeah. not going outside of prophecy when you're doing that. Yeah. So you really can't do nothing against this truth but for it. Yeah, which is crazy because men in a garment with the Bible yeah. somehow <laughs> are in control of all of these, you know, terrorists, yeah, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, these that bombings is, and shooting. That is, that's man. unreal. That is crazy. You but gotta, hey, you gotta walk me through that one. Where's yeah. the logic? How are you going to connect this to it? What? But, but the scripture says that, you know, that we will be, you know, persecuted for your house I sake. Yeah. You know? It also says there was no prophet that was. Uh, the scriptures also say. Uh, uh, actually, let me read it real quick. I yeah, have it on my yeah. phone. Yeah. Saw it on the, on the gram still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I get yeah, that. right here. Um, it says Ecclesiastes nine and fifteen. Now there was found in it, a, in it a poor wise man, and he. By wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. It says Matthew 13 and 57. And there were offended in him, uh, there were offended in him, but Yahweh said unto them, A prophet is it a prophet is not without honor yeah. save in his own country yeah. and in his own house. Yeah. And it's true, man. We're 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 out here doing the most work. 
Yeah. You know, begin with the apostles on down. Showing the most love to Israel by bringing this truth up. But we're, we're not respected, we're not acknowledged, and we're hated. Which is okay, because the Most High, Yahweh Shai, I just read the scriptures. That that's what's going to happen. And on top of that, He's going to give us that glory, man. Yeah. If, we, if those of us that are sincere and make it to the end, He's going to give us that glory. When we, when, we, when we get our bodies changed, trust me, the respect is going to... Apostle, Apostle Dahara always says, Women is you're gonna have to be kicking women off of you. Yeah. That's how that's how that's how glorified we're gonna be, man. Yeah. yeah, and like the scripture says that you know we're gonna be like the stars of heaven forever. God. You know, so we're we're gonna be the you know the true celebrities in the yeah. kingdom that's right, forever, man. man. Forever, man. Nothing's you know, I got a scripture, Matthew ten verse seventeen, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council, God. and they shall scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and yes. kings for my sake, right? You know, just like you're saying, you know, all these stereotypes, you know, they're going to come back to us. Yeah. You know, and then we're going to have to, you know, give an answer to. That's right. Right. And after that, also, when it says these synagogues, these FEMA camps that they have ready, man. Yeah. Some of us, some of us, it's evident for sure. Some of us are going to die for this truth. And some of you will die in the FEMA camps. Yeah. As they're trying to make you not to stop preaching in this name and, and accept the new world order by taking the chip. Yeah. If you don't see that chip, they're going to torture you or just kill you. Yep. You know? Yep. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. So the Spirit's going to fall upon you, man. If, you, if you've been doing this work sincerely, the Most High is going to protect you. That's right. The Most High will protect you. That's right. And it says... For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which is in you, which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up, and the brother shall deliver up to the brother to death, and the father, the child, yeah, and the children because, shall raise. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's, All these family members that you guys love and these friends that you love, watch. Yeah, they they, they, they're cool up. with you because everything is quiet room right now. But when hit when 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 shit hits the fan and they had to choose between their own survival and yours oh, you oh easily man easily they'll give you up in a heartbeat they won't even think about bro, it bro you had you're gonna have mothers eating their own children because they haven't eaten in days yeah watch man this is this this is this is about the lord the day of the lord is really gonna it's just it's just getting started man yeah and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child and the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endureth to the end shall be saved so that was to show you that these Christians they say that they're already saved what are you saved from? because all of this have to go all of this have to come to pass in order for you to be saved and you have to endure until the end to be saved so what are you saved from when all of these things did not happen yet? that's right that's right man. I said on that? yeah